A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Foxborough. Patriots head coach Jared Mayo announced to players Thursday morning that Jacoby Brissett has won the quarterback competition and will start week one against the Bengals. NFL media first reported. Mayo's decision to start Brissett over rookie third overall pick Drake may does not come as a major surprise. Mayo even hinted at it Wednesday, saying, I think it's important to remember what's good for the team today may not be good for the team weeks down the line. So, I think the challenge is you want to win every single game now, but also we're trying to build something special here in New England. Mayo said Wednesday that he made a decision earlier in the week and planned on announcing it Thursday after meeting with quarterbacks and the entire team. Brissett took every first-team rep in organized team activities and training camp this spring and summer. He also started all three of the Patriots' preseason games, finishing five of 14 for 36 yards with an interception. Mayo acknowledged Monday that May did outplay Brissett, but that multiple factors were going to go into the decision. One is the total body of work, whether we're talking about the spring or the entirety of training camp. I would also say oftentimes we forget about just the overall experience that a guy like Jacoby has, which will also be weighted in the decision that we have to make here in the near future," Mayo said. May was 21 of 34 for 192 yards with a touchdown through the air and carried the ball seven times for 32 yards with another touchdown. The rookie began outplaying Brissett midway through training camp, starting with an August 13th joint practice with the Eagles. That continued through the Patriots' final two preseason games against the Eagles and Commanders. May 21 only started 26 games in college at UNC, however, and was considered raw as a prospect. Brissett, 31, is 18 to 30 in 48 career starts since being selected by the Patriots in the third round of the 2016 NFL draft out of North Carolina State. He started games with the Patriots, Colts, Dolphins, and Browns. He backed up Sam Howell with the Commanders in 2023. Brissett played one season with the Browns under current Patriots offensive coordinator Alex Van Pelt, who served the same role in Cleveland. Brissett was 4-7 as a starter in 2022 and completed 64% of his passes for 2,608 yards with 12 touchdowns and 6 interceptions. In his career, Brissett has completed 61.3% of his passing attempts for 10,574 yards with 51 touchdowns and 23 interceptions. The Patriots traded him after his rookie season to the Colts for wide receiver Philip Dorsett, but at the time, he was buried on the depth chart behind Tom Brady and Jimmy Garoppolo. Brissett signed a one-year, $8 million contract with the Patriots before they drafted May with the idea that he would be a bridge starter to or mentor for a rookie quarterback. The veteran quarterback said Tuesday on WEI that he was still planning as if he was the starting quarterback. He was the first quarterback to take individual drills in practice Wednesday. Mayo was not initially scheduled to speak to reporters Thursday morning, but the Patriots scheduled an 8.30 a.m. news conference for Thursday morning on Wednesday night. The Patriots still have Joe Milton III as a third-string quarterback behind Brissett and May. The Patriots waived quarterback Bailey Zapp on Tuesday during 53-man roster cuts. Zapp, a Patriots 2022 fourth-round pick, signed with the Chiefs practice squad. Zapp and Mac Jones served as the Patriots' starting quarterbacks in 2023, when the team went 4-13, which led to them picking May 3rd overall in the 2024 NFL Draft. Despite Brissett being named the starter, there are people within the organization who believe that May has played so well that it's a matter of when not if he'll overtake Brissett this season. For now, however, the Patriots' starting offensive remains uncertain. Of the five starting positions, only center, where David Andrews will play, is settled. Potential left tackle Vidirian Lowe and left guard City Sauer are injured. Mike Onwenu will play right guard or right tackle, depending on injuries. Chukwuma Okorafor will likely play left tackle or right tackle, also depending on injuries. Other potential starters include rookies Layden Robinson and Caden Wallace. Some people around the league believe that until the Patriots' offensive line is settled, then May should sit, and ultimately, there's a feeling around the team that this season should be more about developing young players than winning the most games. And if starting May right away hinders his development, then it's not worth the risk. The Patriots were the final team to announce their starting quarterback. 
The Steelers announced that Russell Wilson would start over Justin Fields on Thursday. The New England Patriots named Jacoby Brissett the team's starting quarterback for Week 1. Brissett won the job over rookie quarterback Drake May, who head coach Jared Mayo appeared to suggest needs more time to develop after choosing him with the number 3 pick of the draft. This is a breaking news story. Check back for updates. Jacoby Brissett will begin the season as the Patriots starting quarterback, coach Jared Mayo told reporters during a news conference at Gillette Stadium on Thursday morning. Rookie quarterback Drake may challenge Brissett for the job, to the point where Mayo at one point said that May had outplayed Brissett. But the Patriots have a plan for May's development and remain steadfast in their desire to stick to it. As an organization, we are 100% behind Jacoby. There is no you've got a guy right here, you've got a guy right there, Mayo said. We're 100% behind Jacoby. I had an opportunity to talk to Drake. I had an opportunity to talk to Jacoby separately and also together, and I feel like we're all on the same page from an organizational perspective. The Patriots will go with the experienced veteran, who is entering his ninth season in the league. Brissett has familiarity both with the Patriots organization, having been drafted by New England in 2016, and with Alex Van Pelt's West Coast offense which he played in during the 2022 season with Cleveland. There were a lot of factors that led to this choice, Mayo said. I think the hard part is thinking of the short term and the long term at the same time. As an organization, we feel like Jacoby gives us the best chance to win right now. Brissett completed 64% of his passes and threw 12 touchdowns against six interceptions during the 2022 season. Brissett played in three games with the Commanders last season, going 18-4, 23 for 224 yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. The 31-year-old veteran is 18-30 as an NFL starter with a 61.3 career completion percentage and 51 career touchdowns against 23 interceptions. Mayo was asked whether Mayo will be quarterback for the entire season. He had said previously that what's best for the team right now might not be what's best for down the line, but seemed to strike a different tune on Thursday. I don't want to go into hypotheticals. We can't go into the season saying, well, he's going to go X amount of weeks, Mayo said. As long as Jacoby is going out there and performing the way that we all have confidence in him doing, he'll be our quarterback this season. The Patriots valued Brissett's experience from the start, naming him the starter heading into training camp and sticking with him throughout the summer as the quarterback taking the majority of the reps with the starter. Though May's preseason stats were decisively better, Brissett started every preseason game. With week one of the regular season approaching, the Patriots are moving forward with a familiar choice under center as they continue to develop the talented rookie. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.